Ladies and gentlemen, the timing could not be more perfect. The dawn of a new era. Welcome to Rabblecraft Season 3, and I am apparently floating. <laughs> I did not intend that to happen. But yes, welcome to Rabblecraft Season 3. We're here in Minecraft 120, if it wasn't obvious enough, with the awesome pink trees and the pink flowers, pink everything, and ooh, what's this? That's interesting. Very interesting. Yes, welcome to Rabblecraft Season 3. We have begun, and people have already set up some stuff. This is cool. Now, everyone already held the first SAP startup group event, which unfortunately I wasn't part of, but let's go ahead and take a look at where we're going to be building our starter houses, which is this pond right here. There's going to be a lot more focus on community-oriented things this season, and we picked this world seed for a very good reason. Because with this pond in the middle, every one of us will be able to put our starter houses on the edge of it, and every one of us will be very close together right up next to each other. Oh, and Amrajan just joined. Hello! Now we have bigger plans with the area as well, but I won't go into details right now. Speaking of which, I don't have anything specific planned yet. I'm just going to go with the flow of things, taking it slow, enjoying the process. Also, I have no idea where everyone is located. Now my starter area is around here somewhere. I just don't know where. My plan is to live right next to Cap Mystic, and him and I are going to be doing some things together. Someone has already made it to the nether, are you kidding me? And a chicken farm, of course, one must. I really need to catch up here. Alright, this is Turtle's area, very very nice. Yeah, I just need to run around here, run around this entire place and find out where Cap Mystic has chosen to be. So this is Zendavar right here. And who's this who started building already? with an awesome cave entrance right here. That is looking cool. No name on this place just yet, but good start. Beastly plot, yes, this area is Beastly's area. Someone has already made a house, are you kidding me? Who is that? I don't see a sign, but who who is that? That's sure, whoever it is, don't mind. <laughs> Coop claim disregard creeper holes. You know what, respect it. Looks like we got more areas over here as well. This is Ram starter area. Aha! I see it. I see our Sada area. Yes! Oh, and there's even tools that I can start using. Awesome. I'm going to set my spawn here. And it looks like Chemistic has already started out with some stuff. I think this place looks amazing. This is a great starter place that he has claimed for us. This is amazing. Alright, I'm going- Ooh! Pink petals! Oh, that's my first time picking up this stuff. Well, my first deed here is to farm the potato farm and cook up some potatoes, because I can't live on carrots forever. I really love this location, actually. All right, do we have a... We do have an axe. You know what? I can deal with an axe. I'm going to steal this pickaxe as well. Awesome. But yeah, I think I just need to get going here. I, I, I need to gather resources. I need to go mining. I need to get a plan going. So I don't know where exactly Kamistik is going, planning on building, but I assume he's going to build his house area over here. I'm going to be over here. Oh, listen to that sound. I haven't played 1.20 yet until this point. I, I have only been playing a few of the snapshots. So this is brand new experiences to me and I'm loving it. And there we go. Fast leaf decay taking its effect. We do have a couple of data packs on here. Oh, you actually do really get quite a few saplings from this. Wow. Okay, I'm sure Kamistic has that cobblestone ready for some building project. Um, I'm sure he won't mind. I'm sure he won't mind if I just go ahead and craft a couple of things with it. All right. Basics has been acquired. Awesome. So with that, I actually... Yeah, I want to sleep because I don't want to die. And then I do want to set up some shaders. Oh, are you kidding me? Right when I turn the shaders on, I want to see the sun, the sunlight and everything. It starts raining. Okay, well, it still looks very, very pretty. I do have to say. Right, well, with this equipment, I'm going to grab my baked potatoes now. And I think that it is time for an adventure. I don't know where... I don't know where Abradon is. No idea. However... Ooh. Okay, so he has been mining it here. I'm actually gonna have to come through here, just in case I need to pillar or something. I don't know what is in this area. I haven't looked at the seed, I haven't booted up the seed on my single player world and checked it out or anything. I have just joined the server and, well, we'll see what happens. 
All I know is we are in a beautiful cherry blossom biome. All right, we got some coal. That's good because I do want to make some torches because this is dark. It would help if I turned my brightness up to bright. There we go. Oh, wait, it's thundering. I just heard thunder. I might be able to sleep this away then. I assume Amradon is either AFK or down in a cave or something. But let us see if we can sleep this thunder away. Yes, we can. Awesome. Look at this. Man, this place is pretty. Wow. Just wow. With a perfect view of the sunrise and everything, I love this spot. All right, now let's go and find a cave that I can call, not home, resource gathering. Wow, we have some huge mountains over there. Now I assume a lot of people will have mined out a lot of this area. That's not something that I want to deal with. I just want to find like a ravine or something that leads far enough down that I can potentially find some diamonds, iron and stuff like that. And hopefully I'm not gonna die and get lost. Wee. Well, I have found, ooh. Okay, I have found something, ladies and gentlemen. Don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but we're going to find out. First, I'm going to grab a little bit more coal though. Just it, oh, okay, just so it's going to be interesting and, da and dangerous. You know, this might just be one big drop without it leading to anything else. No, no, looks like it does potentially lead to something. But it's also a very, very scary pit of doom if one does fall down. I see cobblestone, I think. No, that's not right. Okay, I obviously want a place that no one has been to yet because uh, <laughs> I need resources. I will gather this copper, I think. I don't know if I'll need it. Oh yeah, Amradon is on to 18 deaths, I think. Yeah, he's uh, he's trying to break the death record of newly started SMPs. Okay, I heard a skeleton fall. I'm slightly worried. Ooh. Oh no. Yeah, I might die soon as well. Two of them. There's some iron in there that I really, really want to get. Oh, three hearts of damage. Okay, nope. There's some iron in there. But before I go in there, I'm going to check this out first. Okay, there's some iron in here. Plenty of copper. There we go. Two pieces of iron. That's good. Good enough for me anyway, so that I can make a crafting table. Move this so it'll fall and die accidentally. Make a furnace. And then use this wood to get that. And then I can get myself a shield. I think that's probably going to be the first priority. There we go. Shield has been made. Oh dear, poor bat. <laughs> right, now I just need to climb up. I want to get that piece of iron because in case I find diamonds, I'm going to be wanting a diamond pickaxe. Or iron pickaxe, sorry. I'm picking up these as well because we might be able to do something with them in the future. Like making a lava farm or a water farm or something. All right, here we go. Come at me. Ow. One down, two down. Okay, this is a good start. And we have three, four, five pieces of iron right here. Sweet. Need to be careful of creepers though. Oh, another skeleton. Need to eat. There we go. Looks like I found the cave that I wanted to find. All right, this is a dead end. There's a lot of copper here, which I definitely want to come back and get. Also want to come back and get a bunch of these blocks as well. But first I want to find the deepest part of this cave. More coal will be required. Ooh, bigger cave area. Two creepers has been spotted. Oh, okay, there's a creeper. Need to get the axe out, I think, for this. Yeah. I will not die to a creeper. I refuse. Now I know there's another one around here somewhere. Yep, right here. Hello. Hello. Oh no. Gotcha. The iron will be mine. All right, 12 raw iron. That is good enough for me to set up a little bit of a half camp here. Get enough for an iron chest plate and then an iron pickaxe as well. Ooh, okay, almost fell down for that. That would have been bad. That would have been very bad. While that is smelting, I might as well. I think I have plenty of coal, so what I might as well do is mine up some of this stuff. Because I will probably be wanting it for a build of some sort. And I already have half a stack. But with now eight iron ingots smelted, I'm going to make an iron chest plate. Now to mine 32 more. And with 63 mine, I can go back, grab this iron, make an iron pickaxe. Oh, I'm running out of sticks. And grab the final piece. There we go. All right, this entire place has been explored, I think. Maybe. Ooh. Oh, wow, that's a drop. This is interesting. <laughs> How unfortunate. There we go. 
got that problem sorted. I really hope this place actually does lead to somewhere. I really, really need a water bucket. I'm uncomfortable at the setting. This cave is good though. I really do need to save the coordinates of this because there, there's a lot of stuff. There's granite, there's diorite, there's um, that, there's the dripstone stuff, everything that you would possibly want. More iron, love to see it. Don't actually know our wine level, 23. Oh no, reloading old chunks. Or oh, is that guy just stuck? I think he's just stuck. Oh yeah, he's just stuck, ha ha. There's a lot of iron here actually. Okay, let me light this area up first. Oh, oh, that's lapis, that's lapis. That's everything I want here. Everything I want is right here. Yes, lapis. Let's go up and see, I see lava. Let's just see what this place has to offer fully. More big cave area. Okay, not interested in that right now. I wanna stick with this. What I'm mostly afraid of right now is actually a creeper coming up from behind somewhere saying hello. That would not be good. Okay, 22 iron so far. I could actually get full iron armor by now. And there's water source right there. Right, let's go ahead and set this up again. I actually don't remember where I came from. Is this it? Wait, yes it. Aha! Right, I'm gonna mark that with that, otherwise I will get lost. I don't really mind getting lost because I will be able to find my way out, hopefully anyway. But, just to be safe, all right, got a bucket, pick up this, and this, and let's see what's down here. Do I have more coal? Probably in the furnace. Oh, oh wait, mine shaft. Okay, hold on, I'll come back for that. I didn't know that would, oh, that's a, I actually found a mine shaft and found the deep slate level. Oh, okay. Oh, and coal here as well. This is sick. Okay, not interested in that. I'm interested in the mine shaft. I'm gonna get this coal, gotta go back, get full iron armor. And then I gotta my I, I gotta explore that mine shaft. I saw redstone at least. We're on Y level 13 as well, which is great. We found more iron as well. I'll probably need an extra iron pickaxe at this rate. All right, make some extra armor. Make a helmet. Boom, boom. Make an extra pickaxe. Suppose I might as well grab some more of this copper. There we go. Enough iron to make some boots. And I think that that's going to do it. Boots equipped. Time to visit a mine shaft. And we're going down. Awesome. I will have to be careful of cave spiders and whatnot. I can get a bunch of oak fences as well. Don't know if I'll want oak fences for anything, but I mean, they're here. And I just, I, I heard spiders. I actually hear a lot of things around this corner. Okay. I don't know if I want to mess with that. That's a spawner. I could set something up for it. Obviously. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. This place is cool. This place is also getting a little bit dangerous. Not gonna lie. I think I need to fall back a little bit. That's a lot of stuff that I want here, but I need to take it slower. I'm gonna do this calm and collected. What's gonna be down here? Just before I go back. I'm so gonna get lost down here. Now, what I usually do in mine shafts is whenever I explore something new, I remove these so I can tell where I've been. Because otherwise, everything starts to look the same. I mean, I'll get a bunch of wood, which can be used for sticks and whatnot, at least. So, oh, I thought I saw something green. Okay, I'm going to have a hard time looking through this. So I think what I'm probably going to do is cut the recording here. And then I am just going to... Okay, hello. Right, what do I do now? Do I keep exploring this mine shaft? Do I go down to where there's actually literally skulk and get awesome loot from it? Uh, I don't know what to do. I want everything down here. I'm actually outside the mine shaft now, just mining things in this nearby cave area. There's tough here as well. More iron. Okay, this is a dead end. So I'm now being forced back into the mine shaft to focus on that one thing. We have so much stuff already. I might need to start removing some of the things because I'm definitely going back to the, going down to the skull. Imagine if there's an ancient city there. That would be epic. Oh, hello. Please drop me your bow. Ow. Oh, he did. He did drop his bow. Power one. I mean, with eight arrows, I, I'll take that. I'm starting to feel like I have enough iron now, so I might start not grabbing every single piece of it. Right. This is what I'm going to do. Because this is going to take forever. I'm going to cut the recording here and then I'll be back because I'm going to go through this entire mineshaft. I'm going to mark my way back to this very spot because then once I'm done with the mineshaft, we will be able to loot or at least go down there and see what on earth we can find. And if I find something interesting, I will be right back. That's our first diamond. I'm back. That's our first diamond. That's our first diamond, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I don't have fortune, and I'm not going to save it until fortune. I'm just going to grab it right after grabbing this iron right here. There we go. Uh, what can I... Yeah, let's let's drop, drop some of this junk here that I probably don't need. Let's grab this. 
diamond. Let's go. Just one. That's fine. And there's this as well. <gasps> Two more diamonds and then a golden apple. I'll take it. I don't think I need any of the other stuff. Maybe pumpkins could be cool. I always end up throwing it anyway in favor of something else. Okay, that was just a dead end. Found another chest. Another golden apple. Glowberries as well. I'll definitely take that. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm, I'm not gonna be bothered with... Uh, with the pumpkin seeds. Oh, look at this. I almost fell down here. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna go down there for two pieces of gold. Not yet. Out here exploring the mines and I found our second diamond. I don't know if this is only a one, a one ore vein or what, but we're going to find out. This is our second diamond. Oop, and third, and fourth, and fifth, and sixth, and seventh. So now we should have like nine diamonds, I think. Yes. Nine diamonds in total. That was a huge, huge find. That's why it's worth checking out these places. And I'm only at Y level 1. This is a great, great trip. I just gotta be careful not to greet it and then lose everything. That would be very, very sad. Because I cannot find back I cannot find my way back to this place if I die. Done with the mine shaft. I cannot wait any longer. I want to explore that. I mean, I, I don't even know if there's an ancient city down there. There might not be, but we are going to find out together. And also, this could be where I die. Nope, it's not. Nah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Here's the welcoming committee. Please, go away. I don't like. Go away. Please. Goodbye. Thank you. I suppose I'll take this gold. It's free. And the iron. Okay, enough of that. Let's go down here now. At the very least, I'm hoping, yes, to find more diamonds down here, but also, if the- oh wow, more diamonds. If this could lead to an ancient city, that wouldn't be half bad, you know? I just have to be very, very careful because I don't want to lose any of this stuff. Why does this stone look different? I don't like it. I suppose I could also be breaking this for XP, although it is not that much. Okay, this cave is going up. That's not really where I want to go, I don't think. Oh, glow squid. Oh, uh, yeah, I suppose I'll grab some glowing sack now that I'm here and it is convenient. As long as I don't drown, that will be great. Okay, well, this is a dead end and the other way is just gonna keep going up. So maybe this is nothing? We're at Y level minus 44, so I don't think there's going to be anything below us. Yep, that's bedrock. Definitely not. I suppose it could be above us then. Maybe I will climb all the way up and see where this leads. Oh. Oh wow, that's a lot of skeletons. Okay, a little bit too close for comfort. Well, this is not an ancient city, unfortunately. All the way down here for just a little bit of lava. You gotta be kidding me. All right, here's what I think. I think I need to go home because I have a lot of stuff in my inventory. I don't want to lose it. And I think overall it's a pretty good haul. Maybe I'll come back here and check out this place. Maybe there's an ancient city somewhere. Maybe I can bring back a few people and we can dig around for it. Who knows? But. I think it's time to get back up to the surface. But before I can do that though, I do need to smelt a little bit of iron. Alright, this is the highest point of where I am, Y level 13, that's actually not too bad. Now, oh hello, what's this? I was going to say that's actually not too bad, but this is even better. I saw water dripping. Yep. Need to be careful I don't die. Yep, this is a bad idea. Yep, I think digging up right here is probably going to be a pretty good call. I see dirt. And I see grass. 
Ah, freedom. All right, I'm going to save those coordinates just in case I want to get back to exactly that spot. And if I'm not totally mistaken, that is our home. I just need to do a little bit of climbing. We really should make a bridge or something off of that island. I think it's a good call I got out because uh, I only have two carrots to my name right now, which is not really enough to survive a caving experience on. Now, how much of this can I climb without having to start digging? I think all of it, actually. Yep, I'm at the top. Ish. Yep, here we are, and wow. Okay, yeah, it has taken me a while to do this. Um, but it, yeah, yeah. Th this is our spot, though. Yep, right here. What is this? That's gonna be a huge mansion. That's sick. Yeah. Also, uh, the water lake has been uh, the level has been risen. Apparently, that that's cool. All right, this is our current storage for for now, which is uh insufficient so I'm going to go ahead and do something about this I'm gonna just quickly go ahead and place this down I'm gonna make a little bit of a thing here there we go and just dump everything in there from this expedition all right not too bad and the potatoes have grown that is awesome we will need to expand very soon though now, my next step is going to be gathering a bunch of resources, because I want to make my Sala house. This is just a camp. We need a house. I imagine Kamisnik is going to build over on this side, and then I build over on this side. We're going to have to coordinate. But I'm going to get started here. I'm going to chop down a bunch of trees and gather a bunch of resources for the house design and uh, coordinate where we're placing our houses. Maybe he wants to build there, that I can build there, or vice versa. And it is going to be absolutely amazing. All right, and final material that I need to gather is the Deep Slate, and I have just done a deal with Raven. Two diamonds per stack of our hard-earned uh, 11 diamonds, that is a fair price though. So with that, this is everything that we are going to need, and I need to do some terraforming here, just a, a tiny bit, actually, primarily just get rid of the water, and that's gonna be it. So yeah, without any further ado, let's build the base.
And with that, ladies and gentlemen, a house has been born. I am really happy how this house turned out, actually. So let me give you a little bit of a tour. So first things first, everything in this house except for the roof and of course the lanterns are 1.20 based. That is something that I wanted to do. I wanted to make the build focused on uh, 1.20 with all the new blocks and whatnot. And I have tried using a bunch of different things. But let's start the tour. We have the staircase here using these bamboo trap doors leading up. Yes, I placed trap doors. I just hope a creeper won't. <laughs> won't step upon them. That is something that I am relying on. But we have a little bit of a balcony being able to see the entire starter area here. Everyone's spaces are pretty much in view, which is great. Then we enter a big open door. I'm not planning on adding a door here, even though I could. But I want it to be open. I want this place to feel open and light. And then, yeah, I added this to the roof because I felt like it was a bit empty. And even though it doesn't do anything, I guess it could represent a flower or something. I don't know, it, 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 these blocks are cool and they're pretty and I wanted them. And obviously I don't have any interior just yet, that is to come more on that later. But then we have this uh, ladder right here leading up to the second floor with an attic up there which I currently don't have access to. I should probably follow this all the way up. And then I just want, I wanted something green. I wanted something green and I was like, you know what, potatoes. You, you can't go wrong with potatoes. They look good and they are a decent food source. So this way I'm basically covered for food and still plenty of lights around. Now, like I was saying, I haven't done any interior as of yet. And that is because I'm hoping to do that on a stream. So if you haven't done so yet, be sure to hit the subscribe button to this channel and enable those notifications. And overall, join my Discord server. Link down below in the description. I announce there whenever I go live. Now, next to the house, I did add this waterfall right here could use some work add some stone and whatnot but it's a layout and again add a greenery and a bunch of bone meal around to try and get some tall grass and such and this water leads all the way down to the actual lake which i think is just a great touch Kamisik and I have some great plans here. We're planning on making a bridge over, so we're connected. He just needs to get working with his house over there, then we'll connect with that. And yes, I am all the way up, right up to the actual hill here, so I can actually expand. And it may perhaps be, I, I, I might have some ideas. I might have some ideas with that hill, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We also have an idea for a potential platform somewhere, and then a staircase leading down to the water, making a little bit of a dock. I think that would be an excellent touch as well. But yeah, I think with that, I'm going to call this an episode. I think we did some pretty good progress. We gathered a bunch of resources. We explored. We have done stuff with 1.20. I'm happy. And yeah, we of course still have plenty of stuff to do in this area. The dock and the stairs and everything. There are some farms that I wish to do as well. Maybe some shops. We'll have to see if Kamesic and I can potentially to, to figure something out. Yeah, perhaps, mayhaps, who, who knows, may, maybe. We'll see what happens, but I hope you're excited. Whoa. Okay, let's let's do that. There we go. But I hope you are excited for Ramble SMP Season 3. I know I am. We are all very, very excited, and I cannot wait to continue. So if you did... We so if you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave it a like, subscribe if you're brand new to the channel, enable those notifications, join my Discord server so you don't miss the next episode, and be sure to check out all the Ramble members on our official website, ramblecraft.xyz, and also be sure to join our community Discord server. Both links are down in the description. But like I said, that's going to be it for this one. Really hope you enjoyed, and I'm on to designing what interior I actually want in this place. But until next time, have a wonderful day and goodbye.